G'day YouTube, how you going? Um, you can probably hear that in the background, that sort of rumbling fan noise, yeah, bloody heater. Um, it's saying it's 11 degrees Celsius in here at the moment, and it's supposed to get down into the low single digits. So, yeah, I would expect there to be a frost any time in the next week or so. Uh, it's been bloody close, and... I've actually been struggling to stay out here in the shed. Um, just a quick one. Uh, I've actually picked up a couple of supplies today. Well, the the boss went shopping and I asked her, I said, oh, get us some uh, furniture polish. So um, I'm actually playing with that at the moment because, uh, well, cars are supposed to be shiny in there. But I'm practicing with uh, me. Me and my son actually built a um, uh, it's blue oval anyway. Yeah, piece of piece of rubbish. So I figure, you know, I can screw up on it first before. See, it's not too bad. I mean. Um, Where's my brush? I don't have it here. Oh, well. anyway, uh, I'll pause it here and um, you might have a little bit of a look. You stick your nose on that puggle and you'll end up burning it off. Just getting a little close to the uh, gas heater I've got going. Um, yes, Neo. Yes. Alright, well, like I said, I'll pause it here and I'll get set up and might even square away a little bit because. There, there's, there's the blue snot rag sitting in front of the head drying. That there's Jeff's plane, which I've actually thrown a bit of colour on. Uh, probably can't really tell, but it's uh, sort of uh, a ghost, dark ghost grey on top. It's supposed to be a lighter ghost grey underneath. I suppose, yeah, there is a bit of a difference there. But anyway, that's that. Um, waiting on paint for that one. Uh, can't, well, I can do a little bit more, but choosing not to at the moment. Um, and I've also been allowed to take part in the Rustification Nation group build. So I'm going to drag it down from up on the shelf there and um, give you a look at that. Uh, I've already sent um, Chopper and Macca photos of it so they've seen it and yeah they reckon I've got my hands full so to build it though to, to rebuild it um, she's gonna have to go on the dry dock um, she's too big for a slip so I'm gonna have to build a dock so it could be interesting all right I'll stop waffling um, I'll spin this around I'll actually I'll do a quick I'll pause it do a quick clean up and we'll show you where we're up to. Alright guys, later. Right there guys, welcome back to the bench. Um, I have kind of cleaned up a bit. So, this old girl here, I've actually quite surprised. I sort of give it a bit of a clean up and I wipe down with the, with the cloth and yeah, besides bits and pieces starting to fall off it and everything like that, it didn't come up too bad, but you can see she's a bit, bit orange peely, so yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's the, the blue piece of snot that I've just given a coat, well, a little while ago, and it's kind of drying, but, um, yeah, but what I was going to show you, oh, well, anyway, there's a scratch build, there's Jeff's plane, that's the little victory, yes, the little victory, but swinging around, hang on to your throats. Uh, there's my timber trawler that I'm working on. I've actually got starting to get a couple of planks on it, so you can't really tell. But there's actually one of the dark coloured planks, one on either side. But this here is the mothball that I'm planning on putting in for the rustification nation. Now, before you go, oh, but it's almost finished. Um, Let's see, uh, no that doesn't, yep, that bit there, that comes off, yep. 
Um, that bit there, that comes off. Uh, does that, no, oh, yeah, there you go. The whole deck comes off. Let me just drop that down the back. And, yeah, she's in desperate, desperate need of an overhaul. And, um, yeah, so, it almost got finished. Uh, I started building this, what, oh, 20 odd years ago. So I actually had all the handrails on. Hang on a second. There we go. But, as you can see, they're supposed to look like that. And a lot of them look like that. Because the plastic pins have just broken. So, my plan is, hang on, sorry for the wobbliness guys, but replace plastic with brass. So, that should work. Oh, yeah, dropped it on the floor. And there's also another tub of parts that come with that, so hang on, we'll just wander over here. And, uh, yeah, I've got ships and boats everywhere, I mean, there's a another Titanic hull up there. One day, I plan on turning that into the Britannic. Um, there's a fiberglass trawler hull, which I would like to make the Andrea Gale one day. But what I was going to show you guys is this. That there is all the it bits and fiddly pieces that go on there. So all the small guns, this, that, odds and ends, bits and bobs. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do. And yep, she's a mess. So I've got to build a dry dock for her. Put her in dry dock. And be, if you are wondering, it's actually the USS Melvin DD-680, the Blue Devil. So, um, yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna make her look old and beat up. I'm even contemplating tin canning it. So, that'll be a challenge, but... You can't have them old and beat up without them having tin, been tin canned. Alright guys, I'm starting to waffle and dribble, so I'll leave you with that lovely lady, and I'll see you on the next round. Till next time, later.